sorry. Chad thinks the move's going to be able to take it even without having that compositional advantage, and that is something that they've been able to do in the past. Never Lucky already took down the move, though. That's the reason that the move was waiting in the lower side of the bracket. When they went head-to-head -head in this tournament, it was a 3-1 to one in favor of Never Lucky. Are they going to be able to repeat history, or is all that vamos, all that energy that you're giving to the move going to be enough to allow them to pull through? Yeah, we'll definitely have to see what happened. Colo already going to be using his Gladiator's Medallion on the initial blind of Peekaboo. Doesn't want to be falling behind in terms of cooldown exchange. Wiz Cake getting a huge heal there by Absurge, negating a lot of this initial pressure. Kitty shot used by Peekaboo on Colo, looking for some pressure. This is something we see from the move often. You'll have Peekaboo sit on the healer, generate some pressure. In the meantime, Wiz Cake gets some damage over time effects rolling onto the DPS. But it seems like once again, Colo is going to be the main focus point for the move. Nice fade on the Gladiator's Maledict. Wiz Cake avoiding that big trinket usage. We do see Peekaboo still pressuring Colo as Absurge initiates the Gladiator's Maledict onto Colo. Life Cocoon exchanges for that. Peekaboo realizing that defense is not going to be cracked, switches targets, and it appears that the strategy of the move is to hex Valido as frequently as possible, reduce his pressure, attack Zack and Colo, and have Peekaboo bounce between those two targets. That seems to be the priority strategy for the move. Curious to see how it plays out. Colo does not want to get caught off guard. A bit of a mistake here by Absturge. Hexing Valido, but on diminishing return. Absturge likely playing a reduced cooldown on Hex, so he'll have to time his diminishing returns better. He cannot afford to have that much uptime on Valido. Yep, definitely was K under fire. Double leg sweep coming in from Never Lucky. If we look at mana right now, Colo does have a decent lead over Absturge, but like we kind of talked about, with the changes to Purge, as well as Dispel Magic from Shadow Priest, there's a lot of offensive dispel capability nice. that the move has available. Kitty shot now on Colo, but was K getting low. Good pressure here from Zack and Valido. Peekaboo trying to find some winners of opportunity for his team, but Cole is responding quite well in this situation. Lido uses anti-magic shield, realizing that he's not a damage target. So instead of using that to absorb hits, he uses it to immune the hex and get more uptime on Wizke. It's all about Valido denying hex and getting as much pressure on Wizke whilst doing so. Ultimately getting hex. Actually, Glyre's medallion used here. Valido wants to end this. Zack under fire and Colo under fire as well, though, amidst all of this chaos. Colo gets crushed. Is it going to be enough? He's trying not to make an overextended trade, relying heavily on the anti-magic zone. Now transcendence to safety, managing to recover. Mana still even at this point. Touch of karma used by Zack. Openings are starting to develop themselves for both teams. Definitely good pressure here. Touch of Karma used by Zach. Like we mentioned, that makes him a vulnerable target as we move forward in this matchup. Now two pressure points available for the move. Colo caught in a kidney shot. He can't be using his Gladiator's Medallion because that, he's going to get caught in the situation where right now he gets blinded. Now he has to trinket, and that's a fair trade. That's exactly what he wanted. If he had trinketed the earlier kidney shot, then all of a sudden he gets caught into the blind, into the sap, and Zach could easily fall in that situation. So Colo is playing this very patiently, intelligently. Absurd sitting in the back line. Big push. For a hex. Here it is. Big damage rolling for the move. Big push from the move. Colo, is he going to get cracked? The Ring of Peace appears to be enough for Colo to stall out the attack. And now Wizke under fire as he was desperately trying to push forward and add some extra damage to the fight. It just wasn't enough. Now they stack up for a double leg sweep. Valido moves over to potentially interrupt Absturge, stunning one heal. Cola moves in to follow up. Whiskey in trouble. Could be the void shift potentially from him. Absturge still locked down in crowd control. Whiskey trying to reconvene for a potential spirit link totem, but as he moves closer for that cooldown, he also brings the interrupts to Absturge as well. The psychic scream into a hex should stall the damage long enough here for Absturge to recover. Silence on Colo. They switch their attention to Zach, realizing he's vulnerable for another 10 seconds. Trying to crack through an opening Ooh. there. Good crowd control initiation by Peekaboo. Five seconds away. Zach holds on around the pillar, connects to Vivify. Colo now out of crowd control, easily healing him. Mana starting to develop in favor of Never Lucky. The move need to do something quickly before that ends up being the case. Absturge may need to try and look for a drink. I love this crowd control they've been initiating on Valido. The Earth Grab roots, the hexes. Although the hexes maybe could be a bit better, the diminishing return has frequently been mistimed by Absturge. Psychic Scream, they've got good control of Valido, but it still appears to be so difficult for the move to develop any pressure. Yeah, but Peekaboo slowly but surely chopping into Colo, creating some pressure for his team. Zach once again, no Gladiator's Medallion. There is a slight opening here. Whiskey getting into Void Form, putting out massive pressure, but Valido and Zach, their self heals, easily able to deny that damage so far. Whiskey getting interrupted. Nice ring of peace to bounce him out of the Earthen Wall totem of Absurge, I believe. So he's not going to be getting to use too much of that defense, but he did manage to step back in it. 
Getting a little bit of damage reduction. Now Peekaboo getting kited away by Colo, forced to come back into a double leg sweep. Nicely done by Zach. Good pressure still rolling here for Never Lucky. So difficult for WizK to develop pressure on Zach as it is like a Colo is running the counteract magic. And I'm wondering if WizK is looking for the dispels, trying to remove that as frequently as possible. Stun on Colo, but no counter pressure on Zach. It's WizK who's just getting hammered right now. Gladiator's Maledict connects, Colo dispels. See if there's any follow up. There's good pressure on Colo. WizK decides to move in, secures a silence, way of the crane. Should be enough to deny the kill here. Colo's still struggling, gets blinded on the way of the crane. Trinkets, big overlap, another opening for the move moving forward if they can stay alive long enough to see it through. Yeah, Quaking Palm on Colo's Trinket. Good use of the Pandaren racial from WizK. Now caught into a full stun with the paralysis on Absurge. No dispersion. He does have the Void Shift. He might have to trade it out early. No Absurge. He's going to be using the Spirit Link Totem instead. But Colo in a vulnerable situation. He's caught into a kidney shot. He doesn't have a Gladiator's Medallion. Not much mana left. He might get one, potentially two way of the Cranes left if he can hold on to that precious mana for a longer period of time. But in the meantime, the move is kind of falling apart. Absurge mana not looking good. All three members rotting down low. What are they going to do? I mean, I think if Colo plays well defensively, there's not too many openings here for the move. And they've got so much to work through. They have to get Zach's Gladiator's Medallion, maybe a Smoke Bomb kill there if they can manage to pull it. Still the Touch of Karma. Zach's really just not a target. He's been able to heal himself very effectively throughout WizK's attacks. Even though they've been crowd controlling Valido for most of the fight, his damage is still just so high. It doesn't even appear to be doing too much. Anti-Magic Shield immunes that Hex. That could be a power play for Valido, starting to develop huge momentum onto WizK. Earthen Wall Totem needs to be enough. They do use the Void Shift regardless. Big overlap there, but they got Ring of Peace out of the defense, so maybe a necessary overlap. Colo's got more than enough to stay alive. There's only one opening, only one opportunity for Peekaboo in 19 seconds with this Vendetta, but even in the past, this opening presented itself, and they effectively didn't even scratch Colo, so no mana for Absturge to purge. I'm not sure if it will be enough, and despite the move's strategic options here. I'm not sure if they've got enough to close it out. If they can pull a life cocoon here without Vendetta, it could be critical. Do they have enough to do it? He fake casts the winch here. Colo portals out of line of sight. He needs to hold on the life cocoon for Vendetta. He's actually struggling a bit here. Colo starting to flounder a bit. Peekaboo reconnects. Still Vendetta available. Whiskey gets gripped and double stun. Big Fists of Fury, Dispersion exchanged. Absturge with zero mana left. Pre-Life Cocoon on the Kidney Shot. Nice read on Colo's part, absorbing a huge hit from Peekaboo. Peekaboo switches targets to Zack. This could easily end up being a cross kill. Both teams now completely out of mana, but I would say that Never Lucky are slightly ahead. Yeah, and we are at 18% dampening. There was so much on the line for both of these teams. Winning game number one is huge in a series like this, and both of these teams are on the bubble. They cannot afford to drop a single match in this tournament moving forward if they want to have any chance of making it to the spring finals. Full blind on Devolito, trying to buy WizK just a little bit of time as Cole is almost completely out of mana. Peekaboo slowly but surely working through the mana bar, working through the health bar of Colo in this matchup. WizK moving forward, looking to get aggressive, but WizK, he could be in a lot of trouble. He doesn't have the dispersion for another 40 seconds. Colo is the one that could ultimately fall. It's do or die at this point for the move. They're running out of time, they're running out of options. They got Colo totally tapped on mana, but they are out of mana themselves. After Tringus, but WizK with not much left in the tank. Vampiric Embrace, but he doesn't have Void Farm available. Is going to get destroyed in game number one. Never luck establish a lead and maintain it throughout and qualifications potentially on the line. You don't expose yourself. I think Colo is one of the only people on this team that will go down at least before dampening. Zach potentially if he makes a big throw but Colo definitely the most vulnerable so everything rides on him to stay alive. Well the move they managed to heat up late in the season all of a sudden they start making broadcasts time and time again they start pulling down victories and now they have a real chance to make it to land but they need to win this. Never Lucky does not want to let up because they're in the same position which team is going to get to keep fighting and which team is going to be sent home. Definitely have to find out. Zach in a kidney shot early on. It looks like the move potentially might be going after the Windwalker Monk a lot more. And I can see it. If they can dispel the Renewing Mist of Colo consistently in this matchup, he's not going to get a lot of value out of that counteract magic and have to use quite a bit of mana to keep him alive. But WizK already taking heavy fire. Great pressure here from Belito and Zach. Absurge getting bopped between two rings of peace right now. 
not able to really back up was can this could easily be the first dispersion qualifications potentially on the line here for both teams as they desperately want to stay in the tournament to accumulate enough points but Mew Mew Kitty Cat sit in the upper bracket with its very easy run up there to try and establish it the move and never lucky have to eliminate each other as competition for that fourth spot then face the super frogs and then have to face whether it be Mew Mew Kitty Cats or the boys it's going to be a long day for either of these teams if they want to make it all the way to qualify to the spring finals but they are battling it out to the bitter end here today to try and do so never lucky continue establishing their lead similarly to game number one with regards to mana and cooldowns and on this large map they need to try and expose colo in center field for swaps is that is going to be the main target or then to switch to zach try and catch him off guard in a smoke bomb double psychic scream so they're trying to bait colo to move in line of sight to dispel Colo isn't falling for that bait. He's going to stay out of line of sight, away from Whiskey, avoid being attacked. After three positions, Whiskey moves in. Colo gets silenced. Could use the way of the crane during this. Doesn't appear to be necessary as he recovers quite easily with crowd control on Peekaboo. If we just look at the situation, it's starting to spiral out of control for the move. Yeah, definitely Whiskey falling further and further behind. Colo just playing solid defense, and I really feel like he's the only opening for the move. If Colo doesn't make mistakes in this matchup, I just don't see Never Lucky really losing. Great damage here on the WizK. Void Shift gets traded out onto Absurge, so a different kind of trade being made by the move in this matchup. Absurge not really in a great position to drop a Spirit Link totem, so often could trade out that major five minute cooldown from the Shadow Priest to swap health with his teammates. Now that's not available. Double leg sweep coming in. Great pressure once again from Never Lucky. What is Absurge going to do? WizK barely holding on, has five seconds left on that dispersion, lands a nice double fear. The move managed to stabilize. I mean, stabilize. Look at the mana bar of Abster. It's <laughs> basically gone at this point. And despite bringing in what I think is their best strategy, crowd control the Death Knight, bounce between Colo and Zack, try to create pressure. They just can't. There's too much healing on the side of Never Lucky. They aren't able to penetrate through and really find too much. Finally, an opening, actually, getting double Gladiator's Medallion. Zack could go down in a smoke bomb. Let's see if Peekaboo takes advantage of that. He's going to have to be uh -oh. on point for his team. The crowd control Colo, that could be an option as well. If the moves shift their hexes onto Colo aggressively, it then allows Valido more uptime to deal damage, but they might need that extra crowd control to be able to finally pin down one of the players on Never Lucky. There's the kidney shot. Where's the smoke bomb? They're not even going for it at this point in time. Colo's right next to him. Doesn't appear to be necessary. WizK cannot get there. This is also the drawback of the large map is that WizK can easily get left behind and have no opportunity to get in the line of sight. Potentially the move want to set up drinks. If Absurge can somehow manage to regenerate his mana later into dampening, then potentially Valido actually becomes a target. They could switch their hexes. Bomb. They go for the smoke bomb play. Colo tries to get into it. He's getting hexed on his way in. Full hex. Good crowd control rotation from the move. Zack on the run. Peekaboo just gives up on chasing Zack. Tries to go after Colo. Colo. Colo then transcendences away. Should be able to easily escape. Zack moves in. Good reactions by Zack to survive the smoke bomb attack. Mana at least evening out now for the move, but still a lead for Never Lucky. Yep, definitely never lucky in the driver's seat right now. Zach has a lot of his defensive cooldowns rotating back up. Colo with the life cocoon, he's going to be feeling healthy. Whiskey case, still no void shift. Does have dispersion rotating back up. And there's another grip into a double leg sweep. Good combination there by Valido and Zach to start really getting some pressure rolling for their team. And Absurge and Whiskey are under heavy fire right now. Absurge has to respond with his ascendance to empower his heals. Trying to keep WizK alive. Peekaboo's still on a solo mission, trying to pressure down Colo, but Colo's just not Oof. been cracking under the pressure. Zach pre-touch of karma the incoming kidney shots. That could have been an could have been an opening there for the move. Although now they have an opportunity with Vendetta, but running out of time. Not very much mana left in the tank, and dampening has just engaged. Colo gets interrupted. Everything rides on Peekaboo. He needs to develop the pressure for his team and set up WizK effectively. WizK's main focus is to just rotate cooldowns with Absurd, survive as long as possible, get some good crowd control onto Valido, install it out to give Peekaboo as much time as possible to start building a lead. But it just seems so difficult for the move to even find that lead. Colo gets blinded. If he sits through this blind, 
That's going to get him a huge. There's no way that he can. He trinkets as soon as the kidney shot is used. He did not want to expose himself to that swap potentially. So that's good response. But now Colo gets hexed. I do like this adaptation on Absurge's part, switching the hexes to Colo. That could be the one factor that the move can take advantage of to find victory in game number two. Yeah, and Zach, once again, not really too many defensive cooldowns to work with. Peekaboo looking to line up some pressure on Akolo. Wiz K under fire by Zach and Valido. He's been getting trained down this entire game, but at the very least, the move has forced Zach to play a lot more defensive in this matchup, making sure he's consistently guessing on his toes, having to run away. But this particular point in time, right now, never lucky. They have so much momentum oh. pushing forward. Wiz K is getting lower. No dispersion, no void shift. Half search might have to trade up the Spirit Link totem, but there's no one there to really benefit from that split health totem and in, in the meantime Colo actually is getting pressure down quite heavily by Peekaboo Peekaboo realizing he's not gonna be able to take him down looks to get some pressure rolling on to Zach and Valido it's K getting pressured not much defense left Urzen wall spirit link the last line after needs to be there but Colo sat down for a drink regenerated a huge lead right at critical mass and dampening and this is spelling trouble for the move it's like that never lucky put them on match point and none of these have been really that even close for the move to find victory they need a miracle can they pull it off they've been in this position so many times in the past and managed to do it despite all odds being stacked against them everybody basically in chat at least 93 percent they think the move are going to take it they have faith that the move will come through for them but colo is looking like a pretty difficult boss to beat well, I mean, the move is the dream team, but never lucky so far in this tournament. Four and one against the move. And it's looking like it's going to be five and one. Although Colo is rotting down low, there's still decent pressure here for Peekaboo. Anti-Magic Zone trades out just to keep him alive. Wiz K having to retreat, though. Another double stun. Bolito grips in app surge on top of Wiz K. Double leg sweep. Wiz K getting lower. Spirit Loom Totem trades out. And actually, Voice Shift is rotated back up for Wiz K. So they still have that major defensive cooldown to try to carry them forward until the Spirit comes back available all right absurd with basically nothing left it's do or die here for the move in game number two they can't afford to go down two points they'll have to battle it back at two disadvantaged maps in a row whiskey able to stabilize through the fists of fury trying to create pressure on Zach. colo's life cocoon has been cracked but absurd gets crowd control void shift is all that's left Zach trades such a karma before smoke bomb an opening for the move. If they can survive this overwhelming pressure, there's an opening. They void shift the health over to Absturge. He stays in the fight. They need to start dispelling Zack down. Remove all heal over time effects. Shadow step over. Go for the smoke bomb. Big power play. Try and take him out, but they just can't make it. Whiskey's under too much pressure, and Absturge has no mana left. He's in crowd control. Whiskey holds on by a thread, but if Zack even reconnects for a second, he's likely to fall. Peekaboo peels him away with a kidney shot. They shackle the abomination. No, they deny the shackle. Absturge has nothing left in the tank. Everything is starting to slip away they drop the smoke bomb in desperation Zach immediately retreats out of that not wanting to throw the game away realizing the huge lead that they have never lucky are gonna keep it calm cool and collected recover around the pillar then go for a big push can the move survive even that much longer to find another opportunity it's getting dicey it is but WizK does have the dispersion here's a silence kidney shot attempt onto Zach what is he gonna do? He has fortifying brew. Colo trades out the life cocoon to keep him aggressive, keep him afloat. Absurd looking for a hex. Anti-magic shell denies. Grip into double leg sweep. Wiz Cave forced into potentially his final dispersion of this match, but with Vampiric Embrace, he's actually managed to top himself off, and Colo's falling behind. All right, this could be it for the move. Can they put a point on the board against Never Lucky? They want to battle for that fourth place spot at the spring finals. If they lose here, they will not be going to the LAN event. The move, the runners up at BlizzCon, the all-star rogue Shadow Priest Shaman battling against the meta, battling against all odds here today to stay alive in the tournament. But I will say Never Lucky have significantly improved on this roster throughout this season. Despite coming together at the last second, they're looking solid. They've got decent pressure and WizK will get crushed. Peekaboo goes for the counter kill potentially on Nicola, but he pre-fortified Elixirs, the incoming stun, totally denying it and advance now to match point. And WizK's death looked inevitable. Through. Completely hopeless for the move. There, there is going to be a crazy damage window as a Ven. <laughs> ben, ben, <laughs> the second the camera's off, he's shaking his head. But when we, when we, when we look, when we look, there's going to be a crazy damage window that can come in here when they line up all of their big cooldowns. Wings going to be crucial for Wiz K to get damage rolling as he sets his sights on Zach. Back the target of choice here as he retreats away, potentially an all-in. 
from the move if they can keep ramping up this crusade. Never Lucky realizing that's the biggest threat from the Retribution Paladin. They just need to avoid WizK at all costs until this crusade has ended. It's going to be ending here shortly. Zach still avoiding WizK, snared up by Valido. Good defensive posturing from Never Lucky, not throwing away anything to this initial burst window. Really no major defensive force just yet. Freezing Trap gets stalled by Leg Sweep. Zach still taking a ton of damage. He tried to eat the Freezing Trap, wasn't able to. Retreats around the corner, but that Clyrus Maledict is absorbing a lot of his support. Touch of Karma, are they gonna go for the Blessing of Protection? Doesn't look like they wanna overcommit that lineup just yet. But now with the safety of that Touch of Karma, Jelly Beans is on the defense. Yeah, definitely. Jelly Beans having to play a little bit defensive here in this situation. That's one of the things about the Hunter is you don't have that same kind of self healing a lot of these other classes have, and that's why they're so vulnerable. Absur is definitely going to have to do work. Jelly Beans just falling further and further behind. Blessing and Protection gets traded out. WizK throwing in some heals. That is not the situa situation you want to be in as the move. Cola got trapped up, but unfortunately the move was just forced so defensive they really couldn't get anything rolling. Not able to. Also, another advantage of the Retribution Paladin is that Blessing of Wisdom from the Retribution Paladin. So you may be able to actually outmana the Mistweaver Monk if they can stay alive. Maybe maybe there's opportunity. Jelly Beans takes a huge hit from Valido, recovers immediately. Absurd just Gliders and Dallion was using that exchange, but they've got crowd control. Zack on the run once again. I can't help but feel that this map is backfiring. Zack on this huge battlefield is able to just transcend us away and avoid all the damage during the freezing traps. Perhaps the move should have gone for something like Ruins of Lordaeron. Maybe they were hesitant. I mean, they're on match points. Their qualifications are on the line. If they lose this, they wanted to go for a safer pick, but it actually is benefiting Never Lucky more than them. Yeah, what are they going to be able to do? This is so difficult for WizK to actually have uptime on a target, especially without the Blessing of Freedom. He's just caught in Chains of Ice. It is a slow waddle for WizK. Yeah, I know. Hey guys, it's been a little while since we've seen a Rep Paladin, but they really struggle to move. They are very slow. It's a little bit of a saying in the community, and you're going to see that right now. WizK trying to get up onto targets, and he's not going to have very high uptime. All right, WizK connecting to Zack. Colo trades Life Cocoon for this initial assault with Crusade, but then they could switch targets, perhaps. Absturge recovers, but expends a huge amount of mana to heal through this attack. Crusade is maxed out, but WizK can't connect. Blessing of Freedom. WizK finally able to move. Zack immediately flying Serpent kicks away from that. WizK still in hot pursuit. They don't have a Blessing of Protection, though. Maybe pre-aspects of the Turtles and the Karma? No, no real over they, 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 they broke it? break it? They broke it. Zack is vulnerable right now. He has his transcendence, might have to run away, but Cole in a good position, not in crowd control, is able to top him off. But now with no touch of karma, Zack's going to have to play a little bit scared in this matchup. He can, of course, use that transcendence to get away when he really needs to. But in terms of defensives, the move's not looking bad. Mana's evened out. There's definitely hope here for the move to come back in the series. It's looking a lot better than their Shadow Priest Rogue, for sure, at least here against Never Lucky. Potentially, the Retribution Paladin could be the X Factor for the move to stay alive in the lower bracket. They still haven't won it just yet, but there is definitely a lot more opportunity here in game number three for sure. Zack retreats, Whiskey hunting him down. How much longer can Zack get escaping to safety? He gets a ring of peace. Whiskey cannot connect. Zack recovers, Colo gets out of crowd control. Now Zack has touch of death. He could make a big push. It's likely to be going after WizK as he has no Glider's Medallion. Fist of Fury, no touch of death committed just yet. Surprising to not to see it immediately pulled. Trying to develop some pressure. Maybe they're trying to bait an Iron Bark before going for a big push. Thorns activated by Absturge. That is starting to redirect some damage back at Valido and Zack likely to cost Colo mana. Good cross crowd control there from the move. I like this mid game adaptation. Stunning up Colo and Zack at the same time is very important for the move to pin Zack down long enough to ultimately net a kill on him. If they can do that a couple more times maybe in the future, they could take it. Mana's starting to establish itself in favor of the move. Yeah, WizK, honestly, there hasn't been that much pressure for Never Lucky in this matchup. We talk a little bit about how the move is struggling to take down Zack, but Never Lucky really hasn't been able to get anything done against the move so far in this matchup. WizK caught into a leg sweep, finally a little bit of burst damage, but Zack definitely has to think twice before trading blows with the Retribution Paladin. Turbo Fist will deny some damage from WizK. The lead is still all over him, but Absurd's in a good position to get those heals off. There's not too much crowd control coming in from the team of Never Lucky right now, and the move is completely stable, whereas Zack, he's looking a little scared. 
Hello and welcome everyone from StarCraft. We're on match point between Never Lucky and The Move. Both teams attempting to qualify for the Spring Finals LAN. Never Lucky not looking too good and Dire Straits here stunned up for a few seconds if WizK can connect. Not able to make his way over to finally get a kill here against Never Lucky. Potentially this Retribution Paladin could be the X Factor for The Move in this series if they can somehow swing it back. Reverse sweep three in a row to keep their tournament dreams alive to keep their qualification potential still in this tournament. Zack is first, it looks to reverse the pressure, but then Wizke activates that shield of vengeance. That could be dishing out devastation. Colo exchanges life cocoon, absorbing that huge hit and staying alive. Mana still too close to call and it's anyone's match. Definitely big pressure from the move though. Zack did manage to hold on to that touch of karma. Now a full trap. Zack could be into trouble. He transcendence away. Back to Colo. Looking to get out of line of sight, tosses some vivifies on himself. Jellybeans has just been left alone. The most pressure we saw from Neverlucky in this matchup is when they went over to Jellybeans, started to get some pressure rolling, and I think Zach's starting to realize this. And the WizK doesn't seem the best. See, doesn't seem to be the best target of choice. Absters has been able to easily keep him alive, especially with the amount of off healing Retribution Paladin has. And my question to you, Sid, is who do you think really has the edge as we move deeper into dampening? I'm starting to think it's the move. This actually could work for them. They actually have a chance against Never Lucky, despite being down overall. Jellybean's looking to, his pet went down. Oh no! He needs to revive it, he's getting denied on the revive pet. A beast master hunter with no beast is no master. Jellybean's is getting denied over and over on this revive pet, unable to finish the cast, and it's losing his team all momentum. Is he just gonna go down? Aspect of the turtle finally exchanged. That pet will be revived, but at the cost of his most precious defensive cooldown. Yep, definitely. Jelly Bean's not looking too good in that situation. Unfortunately for him, Absurge has to make sure he's healing up that pet. If Jelly Beans gets caught in another situation like that, Zach and Bolito, they just have so many little micro CCs and interrupts that they can deny that uh, regeneration of that pet. And Jelly Beans, without his aspect of the turtle, won't be able to ever get one back again. Zach in a little bit of trouble right now. Turbo Fist going to be used by him with that Fist of Fury to deny WizK a little bit of damage. Paralysis as well. Zach. What is he going to do? No portal available. Once again, running, hiding behind the pillar. Colo in a good position to top him off. Never lucky, completely stabilized. But I kind of wonder, maybe Bolito's going to be an exceptionally vulnerable target in this particular matchup, especially as dampening gets higher and higher. I think certainly that is going to be the case as we see the move add up their strategy to go after Bolito now moving deeper into dampening. Mana still too close to call. Colo has enough in the bank for a way of the crane. And Jelly Beans has no aspect of the turtle. They could go all three members towards Jelly Beans and crush this game outright here momentarily. Colo secures crowd control, but he's reluctant to go all in. Blessing of protection keeps Jelly Beans safe for now. They need to set up crowd control soon. Stun, where's the freezing trap? Good cross crowd control. Jelly Beans lands it from downtown. Huge damage, Zach with not much defense. Colo denies the kill in that attempt with the left cocoon, but with no Gladius Medallion is now susceptible. Crusade available in 60 seconds. The move need to stay alive for 60 seconds. If they can do so, they may be likely to take this. Yeah, definitely. Jelly Beans putting out huge pressure onto Zach. And it's difficult for the Windwalker Monk because he can't get away from that pet. So Jellybeans is always going to be having a little bit of damage rolling. You can see that Raptor just chasing down Zack behind the pillar in this matchup. Zack does manage to top himself off, but it's going to become more and more difficult. Healing getting lower and lower for both of these teams. If we look at mana, Absurge has a little bit of a lead, but nothing too massive. I wouldn't give anyone a massive favor in that regard so far in this matchup. This is WizK rotting down low as well as Jelly Beans. Hammer of Justice. Is he going to land the trap? No, Zach with a beautiful eat of that trap. Cole is not going to be put in crowd control, and now never lucky can get aggressive. Look at Absurd's mana. It's almost totally tapped. We're at 26% dampening. Momentum is swinging now in favor of never lucky, despite the lead that the move we're establishing. WizK just can't stay on target long enough. Potentially, Valido could be the target of choice. I found Fortitude. Randomly exchanged there for Felita. There was no real justification. Crusade is now available. That could be a massive blunder that costs Never Lucky the match. I guess they're trading it for Colo to get full mana, but they need to be able to recover. Life Cocoon for now might not be enough. Beast of Wrath and Crusade stacked together is going to be a huge wave of damage. Crowd control initiated. They need to deny the freezing trap. Can Jelly Bean snipe it despite this dog pile from Never Lucky? Three members on top of each other. It's going to be difficult for him to snipe that freezing trap. Can Jelly Beans do it? Maybe he doesn't even need it. Colo retreats away. He can't deal with the pressure. Jelly Beans tries to snipe the 
trap, goes for the snare one. He's denying Colo from casting at least by keeping him on the move. Valido's getting owned by Wizkate. Jellybeans disengages over. If this freezing trap lands, it's gonna be it. Jellybeans gets stalled on it for a few seconds. Colo can't heal and avoid the trap forever. Hammer of Justice, but Zach eats it. The freezing trap whiffs. They need just damage to push him over, but I'm not sure they've got enough of it then. I don't think so. Wizk looking Maybe. to be the last Crusader. Can they take Valido down? Anti-Magic Shell will deny a little bit of that damage. Wizk traded out his Divine Shield. Wizk is really vulnerable. Master Tabs is going to keep him alive. He has the Innervate rolling to empower his heals, but Wizk is just falling further and further behind. Never lucky. Stabilized. The move could be eliminated just right here, right now. Spring Final is going to be gone from the move, but the Never Lucky, they're looking better and better. Uh, they are, and I got to say, though, to the feed versus the fake zebras we're all tied up one and one who is going to find themselves on match point who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament keep in mind folks we're doing a brand new thing you have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for azeroth